Hello, boys and girls. We are back to keep on learning about materials. Let's see if you can guess what are we going to talk about today. Think. Can you guess it? Well, I'll tell you. Today we are going to talk about solids and liquids. So let's go on. Solids are things that keep their shape, like, for example, a table or a book. On the other hand, liquids do not have a fixed shape. Liquids are difficult to hold in our hands, for example. So, what happened with liquids? Liquids feel the shape of their container. That means that they take the shape of the object that contains them. For example, here, the water is taking the shape of the glass. And here, the orange juice changes the shape depending on if it's in the glass or in the jars. Now it's your turn. Are you ready? You have to tell me if these things that I'm going to show you are solid or liquid. This is coffee inside a cup. So, the coffee is solid or liquid? What do you think? Good. Coffee is liquid. Let's see the next one. This is a television. Can you tell me if it's solid or liquid? Right. A television is solid. And what about this one? This is sunscreen. The sunscreen is liquid. Very good. And the next one? What is this? Inside the glass and inside the bottles? This is Coke. What about the coke? Is it solid or liquid? Very good, it's liquid. What about this one? This is a rugby ball. What do you think? Is it solid or liquid? Yes, it's solid. Okay. And finally, let's go with the last one. This is a sharpener. Everybody knows this is a sharpener, right? What material is this sharpener made of? It's metal. Very good. Can you tell me if it's solid or liquid? Yes, it's solid. Very good, boys and girls. So, I hope you like this video and we will see you soon in the next one. Bye-bye!